Sia Yaya, Aschal Chalup, Zagwa Baritza Seed Sta, Stahov's Ched, Tul Al Ched T. Duflelup, Jones Al T. Bali Gwad, A T. Bod, Balagit Al T. Bali Gwad, Seed Skoy, Uyayus Ched Al T. Duflelup, Duflashut Seed Alt, Zef Ched. We were asked to talk about how COVID has affected our teaching of Lashutzi to the children of the community. Um, we first started, when COVID first started, we were making videos on our phones and um, sending them to the children through Facebook. And it wasn't just to the children, it was for all ages to learn and to keep learning while we were all stuck at home. Hey Lutsu, Michelle Vitsitsa coming to you from my living room. We hope you enjoy this video that we made for you and Dai Hoyalo speed to Bootlachad. I missed you guys a lot. Ashak to Bootlachad. I love you guys. This chal chalup, Mr. Kerry Teet Sta, Hoyalo speed to Bootlachad. We miss you guys. Altia Slahel to Quaquats Chalup. We need your help today. T Squata Dwal Stitak with our book Little Beaver. We suit we suit stop to pushud. A shoot T Stitak and Stitak is beaver. Wheel to wheel to stop chop a shoe, a shoe chalup tea, bulk, bulk, bulk is duck. Wheel to wheel to stop chop a shoe, a shoe tea, skak, skak. A shoe chalup tiskak, we see otter. We utsu, we utsu, stop chop a shoe. A shoe chalup ti alashuk, we see turtle. Alashuk, alashuk, stop chop a shoe. A shoe ti skak. Eat up. Boop. Oh, die hot. Owl of Shuck. You can see really good. Wheel to, wheel to, stop up a shoot. A shoot, he sapper stuck. T sapper stuck. Old grandfather beaver. Die off, Yusu. And those are some of our friends from our story. And let's go over them again. Skak, otter, skak, bulk, bulk, duck, alashuk, alashuk, steetuk, steetuk. T sapa stuck. Sapa stuck. Die hath we utsu. Ob. Wiltsu. Guatia. Kids, who is this? Steetuk. Steetuk. This is Little Beaver. Stop, Quisu Hoy. What is he doing? A diet hot, ukuyad. Very good. He's calling out. Hoy, stop kuisu hoy ti stita. What is he doing now? Ukela gwil alti kilt beads. Ukela gwil alti kilt beads. He is loading up into his canoe. Guatia, 
Who is that? Bulk, Tia. That's duck. Bulk. Guatia. And who is that? Hmm. Skak, Tia. Skak. Guatia, and who is that? Alashuk, Alashuk, Tia. Guatia, who is that? Sapa stuck, Sapa stuck. That is Grandpa Beaver. Iguiti Wutsu, thank you, kids. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing a game that will help us remember our new book. Before I go, I want us to sing Hoi Siaya. All to Bos. Cho, Sali, Sloop. Hoi Siaya, Hoi Siaya. Take, take, taboo. Take, take, taboo. The 2021 school year is completely different. We have TELA, which is Tulalip Early Learning Academy. We There's two sides to the school. One side is birth to three. There's 14 classrooms and the other side is a preschool age. Right now, for the birth to three, we are making weekly videos of what the older kids are learning, but we are only doing the stories, the vocabulary, and any, any songs um, that are being taught on the other side. The birth to three doesn't have any, they don't have their TVs yet set up in the classrooms so that's why we're doing it by video that they will play on their iPads. We're gonna sing our fall song. So let's count together, all um, both. The preschool side, we are doing daily videos for the teachers to play, for the students to sit in a circle and watch the video while they are in class. Pud Ulad. Pud Ulad. Miss Oceana, what does Pud Ulad mean? It means fall. Oh, Dayash, Tigriti. Quake, quick, what does hide? I didn't know. Spake oats. Spake oats. Wapato potato. Spake oats. So where do we harvest the wapato potato? Can anyone take a guess? Alti hot. Fue. Alti swe tuftad. Fue. Alti kulu, a dai hath wot su. Ola chad chath ti spik wots alti kulu. We harvest the wapato potato in the marsh. Okay, our second one. Elch. Elch. On preschool side, there are nine classrooms, fourteen students in each classroom, with two remote learners from each classroom. The video will be shared with the remote learners for them to be able to learn, to keep learning Lashutzi while they're at home. Teaching down at Tela has been going well. We have ran into some extra cost because we have to make 23 copies of everything that we teach down there because we can't give one copy and then have everybody touching that same copy and passing on, get, having the chance of passing on germs.
Yeah. It has increased our costs and our time at Tela. I would also like to add that down at Tela, we not only teach the children, but we are teaching the teachers since we cannot go down into the classrooms because of COVID, the teachers are having to do the small groups with the children. So we are teaching them the words and how to facilitate the lesson that goes with the Lashutzi for the day. And we make those videos daily for the teachers and the children. Hey, good morning, QCT. Happy Monday to you. I hope everyone had a chance to enjoy their weekends and enjoyed that big Seahawks win yesterday. The next school that I'll be talking about is Quilicita Elementary. We are currently teaching five kindergarten te classrooms, five fifth grade classrooms. We do Monday Word for the Week, and we do Friday Storytelling. These classrooms are taught through Zoom. The kindergarten children only meet once a week and they meet on Fridays. And the Lashutzi teachers make a video and that video is shared with the kindergarten students on Fridays. Al tuti tu hawk tu asquadiltsi slothladite. The fifth graders meet every day for 45 minutes. That's through Zoom. Um, I talked to the teachers, the Lashutzi teachers, and one of the problems they are having is that they don't get to see the children on screen on a Zoom because the screen, they don't have to show their faces. So that, they have a hard time teaching that way because they don't know if the children are paying attention. Another issue that the teachers are having is the Wi-Fi connection. The connection works or it goes in and out. For the fifth grade classrooms, the first week of teaching was tough, but they had full classrooms. This is the second week okay. of teaching fifth graders oh. and things are going better, but they have less students. Chop. So Chop. they're not Chop. sure what Chop. is happening. I know Chop. that Chop. everybody has to get on the internet at one time and it is slowing down the Wi-Fi connection. So that could be one of the problems. Uh, another problem that they are having is the kids get distracted right because they're seeing their so friends that they haven't seen in a long time, so they want to chat, right. and it's distracting. So when one person talks, it distracts the whole Zoom meeting. Abush, what is Abush? A one good point um, that we have been noticing is mm -hmm. the children are interacting. They are helping one another and they are trying. They are trying to repeat the words. They're really trying to learn this new way of teaching. The next school I would like to talk about is Pinewood Elementary. It is a fourth grade level. There will be 120 students once a week and they this is something new they are doing a eight week course on the STI we haven't started yet so I can't give any feedback but that is going to be something new that we are starting this year the next school I'd like to talk about is Academy Northwest which is a private school in Marysville but it, a lot of tribal member children attend that school and that is a K through 12 school. There is currently Hiya. 25 Hiya. students Hiya. of all Hiya. grades and they only teach one mm. once a week Here's to here. all the students Hiya. that signed up for the class which Hiya. was 25 Hiya. children. That is going good. Awesome job. Thank you, um, some of the kids in that school it's the first time that they have heard Lashutzit, so 
it's a little different for them, but the older kids or the kids that have had Lushitsi before That's are right. helping the younger more, ones. Okay. okay. All right. And then your dad's name and Teed Bod. Hey. I know it looks like bad, but in Lushitsi, our A's only make the ah sound. The next school that we teach at is Totem Middle School. We are trying something new this year. We are trying a sixth grade level. Uh, we have one classroom with 23 Shut students up. in the classroom. The teachers, the Lashuti teachers were very amazed Shay. because they thought, ooh, middle Shay. school, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be Shay. tough, but they are finding that the kids Shoo. are doing very well. Shoo. They're interacting Shoo. with each other. They're interacting with the teachers. Hard K raise W. Hot. Glottalized L or hard L. Oh. Amari, what sound does the hard L make? Oh. How about the belted L? Um, at Totem, they do Zoom, but they also do Google Classroom. And for people that are not familiar with Google Classroom, it is a place where the teachers have to go and um, ask a question each day, every day, and the students have to answer the question. Then that's how they take their attendance, and then they start their Zoom meeting. If the children answer the question but don't attend class, the students still get a passing grade for the day. This is going to turn into a problem because some students may not ever attend the class, but they're going to pass the class, and that's going to look bad on us Lashuti teachers because somebody's going to ask them, oh, I see that you took two years of Lashuti, what did you learn? And they can't answer anything because they, they never attended class, but it looks like they mastered it. And then you'll do the first half of the introductions that we've done so far. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do the second half. And if there is time afterwards, we'll work on the feelings worksheet. Oh. We are currently teaching two high school classrooms, different schools. One is Heritage High School, and one is Marysville Pilchuck. Each school has two classes offered and high school at MP, which is Marysville Pilchuk, is the teacher's been having a hard time getting kids to come to class. Oh, Heritage yeah, is Heritage doing Heritage. very good. Their kids are going. She might have two or three that don't attend every day, but at MP, the teacher still has not seen three or four of her students that are signed up for the class. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you guys know that you're supposed to check in on the Google Classroom stream. Now, if we go look over here and I want to review your guys' assignments, only six people turned in a reflection. I'm not going to look at that right now, but chances are it's the six people who checked into the Google Classroom and followed the directions. Kaya. Kaya, what's your Kaya? Grandma. Yep, Grandma. That's Cha Cha. How do you say it? How do you say the first part? Help her out. A snowbill. What part? A snowbill. This one right a here. A Mm-hmm. A snowbill chud. Yep. And then, Xavier, on your next. Point C I F. Well, thank you, Aaliyah. Tiguitid. <laughs> huh? 
So I talked to the Lushootsi teachers this morning and asked them to share with me um, a couple good experiences that they've had so far. At Heritage, the teacher is really, really happy that the kids are trying. The kids are repeating. The kids are learning how to introduce themselves. At um, Marysville Pilchuck, the, the kids that have been coming are engaged, but they're not talking as much. Chris, stop quad zuhoi. Hey, uya yus chud. Don't be scared to switch up the verbs, you guys. Dakota, stop quad zuhoi. Uya use chud. Okay, nobody can use uya use chud anymore. And that was one of the downfalls that we also talked about is that it's not face to face. So when you're talking over a camera, you might not be able to really get the pronunciation of words. Um, it doesn't feel as personal. It feels like you you're not you're not connecting with your the students that you're teaching. The Marysville School District has made a rule that you do not have to show your face while you're in class. So or you if you mute you can't individually mute a student without them being able to unmute it. And there's big distractions with high school students, as we all know. Um, so if you want to mute somebody, you have to mute everybody. And then they could still he hear you, but then you can't hear them speaking back or repeating. Or the one, if, if the screen is blank, then you don't know if that kid's paying attention, if the, the, the student's sleeping. <laughs> it, it's really hard to know what what they're doing. Okay, how do you say I'm fine? I can't remember those, I'll be honest. Okay. So if somebody says it's child chuck, you're gonna say what, Xavion? It's Bowbell Chuck. Okay. The other place that we teach at is Northwest Indian College and we are starting off with Lashutzi 101. Um, one thing that is different with the college from the Marysville School Di District is that you can't record your Zoom meetings for the kids to be able to go back and watch. Now for college, the instructor for Lachute Seed 101 records every class that she has. So that helps the students that can't attend at that time or they were busy for the day. So then they can go back later on that night and watch it or watch it whenever they have the time to watch it and be able to get the homework, the lecture. And so that won't make them behind for the next day. So what does this say? A sloth little all slup, slup. Uh, he, she lives in Marysville? Yeah. Because he, she, they is invisible in Lachute Seed. We wouldn't put anything as a subject. There are five students in the College 101 class, which is, that is the lowest amount of students we have ever had. And I pretty sure it is due to COVID. Another reason that we could be having such a low number is that the students are not getting the chance to interact with each other. In April of this year, we started a community class while everybody was stuck at home. And 
it was for all ages. We had 62 participants. And out of the 62, some of them were families of three. Some had eight children and two adults sitting at, on the couch. It was, it was a very interesting class. It was a basic Lushootsie class. And we are going to start another one in November, maybe December, but it might get pushed off until January. We have been very busy. We have been trying different things. We've been making lesson plans, videos, doing Zoom meetings, teaching Lachute Seed, learning Lachute Seed, making story videos, making lots and lots of materials. So hopefully we will be able to start our community class again because it was very successful during the first outbreak of COVID. Let a chad swadabsh. I'm going to Swadamish. Buckle shoes. Let a chad buckle shoes. I'm going to muckle shoe. Poyalapabsh. Let a chad poyalapabsh. I'm going to Puyala. Days of the week all centered around ha ha ashda. Cha cha ashda. Sunday, the sacred day. Ashquabats. Ashquabats. Subdatil. Subdatil. Hlewash datil. Hlewash datil. Bosash datil. Bosash datil. Salat sash datil. Salat sash datil. Itabats. Itabats. Stabks ash dat. Stabks ash dat. Weekend. Fludoquest dat. Fludoquest dat. Tomorrow. Tudoquest dat. To Dokwashda yesterday. For those of you guys who watch our videos that we post um, for Tela, for our um, Tela school, we're starting to use more of To Dokwashda and Flu Dokwashda. So you guys should hear that in the videos where we're giving a heads up what we did yesterday, what we're going to do tomorrow. And then Alti on the Alti. Alti cha cha ashda on Sunday, Alti ashkwabats on Monday, Alti tsabdatil on Tuesday, and so on. All right, so conversation one, let's just bum bum bum. All right, we're on to conversation both. Both, conversation both. So I'm just going to give a heads up of the conversation. E chuf, ladof, chadof chuf. Hey, where are you going? I hope that I have given some good information. If you would like to call me, if you have any questions, or if you would like to talk about something further, please email me or you can call me. Tiwitsid, hoi, 